Yo! Have you ever heard about something called Swedish death metal? You probably have, and sometimes you may even have heard about a thing called Gothenburg melodic death metal. And maybe even Stockholm raw death metal. Okay, so a quick little lesson on Sweden for you noobs. Capital of Sweden is Stockholm. Stockholm is placed on the eastern side of the country and Gothenburg is placed on the west side. Some refer it to the Swedish front side, but since I'm from Stockholm, I refer it to being the asshole of Sweden. It's a joke, don't get offended, but it's true. You get the point. Two different cities, two different styles of death metal. The Gothenburg sound is what people refer to as the Swedish melodic death metal with bands like In Flames, At The Gates, Dark Tranquility, bands like that. Stockholm had a more raw death metal sound with bands like Entombed, Dismember, Nihilists, and yeah, a bunch of them. So many of these awesome death metal bands that have influenced a lot of other bands to come had one thing in common. This. This is the Boss HM2 pedal, a classic pedal that is the main ingredient for the typical Swedish death metal guitar tone. And okay, you might ask, Ola, show us your best settings for the Boss HM2. And I'm like, okay, here you go, buddy. Max it all out like this. But should I back down the gain? Uh, no, stop that shit. Everything on max, okay? That's all you need to do. And just plug it in to any guitar amp that has a clean channel. And today I'm very excited because I have a new amp to try out as well. And uh, it's a Marshall Valve Estate. It's an old classic amplifier. And uh, it has a clean channel. So let's try out this Boss Heavy Metal 2 into the Valve Estate clean channel and see how it sounds. All the settings maxed out, okay, very important. Also very important is to have a sip of coffee. Think about life. Nah, I don't have a life. My life is YouTube. So for this demo I'm using a Solar A2.6 guitar. For that I also need a cable to hook it up. And if you're wondering like, haha, where's the volume knob? Hola, you stupid son of a bitch. Uh, I, I have no idea, to be honest. It's gone. <laughs> I took it off, and now I can't find it anymore. So, there's no volume knob on this guitar. And capturing all this beautiful awesomeness is this Bayer Dynamic M160 microphone that's uh, miking my Hesu 2x12 cabinet with Demon speakers in it. Okay, so... Uh, and since we're talking about Swedish stuff metal, maybe I should make the rest of this demo in Swedish. Okay? <laughs> Det där är rena kanalen. Så låter den. Och så här låter den när jag pratar svenska. Väldigt konstigt va? Oh. Okej. Okay. Rena kanalen. Som en ren kanal liksom. Sen slår man på den här jäveln. Sådär jävlar. Nu, nu, kör, nu, snackar, nu snackar vi. That's just f***ing awesome. I love that. Eller, på svenska, jag älskar det. Väldigt bra, väldigt bra ljud. Yeah, it definitely gives like immediately that old dismember and entombed sound. And uh, Entomb was like one of the, like the first main death metal bands that I listened to back in the 90s. And you know, you know, Left Hand Path is an awesome album if you like the HM2 sound. But I think my favorite album was Wolverine Blues. Uh, or Wolverine Blues, I don't know how you say that. You, you Tell me in the comment section, is it Wolverine or is it Wolverine? Who cares? Wolverine Blues was my favorite album of Entombed back in the day. And yeah, it's just, you know, it's a killer Ducking. band, to be honest. Check them out. If you have not heard about Entombed, you need to 
You need to you, you need to uh, educate yourself, okay? <laughs> I mean, it's just a lot of fun. And the cool thing is that you can have this cheapest, you know, amplifier uh, ever, but it will still sound like this because this pedal is just generating this sound and it's unmistakably a very unique type of sound. And uh, it's like, for me personally, I love this type of sound because it just brings back all the memories of all these old, old school death metal bands. I think a more recent band that are using the HM2 is uh, the band Bloodbath. And also the resistance, uh, who had Marco, who also sings in the Haunted, they used the HM2 as well for their album. So yeah, it's, it's fucking killer. <laughs> Remember, do not touch the settings. Max out at all times, okay? This just makes me very happy. Let's hydrate for a little bit. Okay, let's try the overdrive channel, see if, how that sounds. Okay, just a little bit of gain. Let's see how it reacts now. Yes! Damn, I mean, this is... This is awesome. I'm having a good time, you guys. This is, this is, this is what I love about making demos, when you kind of like, you get a really cool groove going, and you even get like, you can see like all the riffs I'm playing right now, it's like really, yeah, really inspiring. It's, uh, maybe I'll make a song out of this, I have no idea, we'll just see. Um, so, so a band obviously that used the HM2 was at the gate. <laughs> And uh, I think they also used a metal zone as well. So they used an HM2 and then a Boss metal zone pedal to get that at the gates Gothenburg melodic death metal sound. So let's try it out, see if I can replicate. I think that's too much gain. Obviously, I'm in drop now, so I can't play the song. Okay, maybe I need to bring my seventh string. Oh, shit. My neighbors will love me, my neighbors will love me, but I love you too. Fucking hell, man.
That's... Uh, let's try the At The Gate song. <laughs> Sorry, I do not know this song exactly how it went, but yeah, that was a lot of fun. I think that was a little bit too extreme um, compared to the sound on the Slaughter of the Soul album. All right. Shit, that was a lot of fun. Damn it. So there you have it. If you want to be able to replicate a lot of the Swedish death metal tone, this is where it starts. It basically f***s up your tone in a great way and make it so grindy and unpleasant to listen to that you cannot do anything but just love it, you know? And if you dig this video, please subscribe to my channel for more. Check the description of this video as well if you want links for the stuff I'm using. These are not being made anymore, but there are replicas like this. I'll throw up a link up there, you'll see it and blah 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 blah. Okay, alright, thank you so much. See you next time!